to our loyal fans of the show, I will be stepping down after the season as my role of uh, a, a co-host. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Penford Sports Podcast, your place for all news, drama, and updates on the NFL. I am your host, Adam Alchuk, along with my co-host, Austin Rahilly. Ya boy, Rahilly. And we got two guests on tonight, the usual Chris Hilchey, and then a semi-usual Mr. (laughs) Zach Snyder. Fellas, how are you? are you this evening hey we're doing good doing good doing good it looks like zach actually may have uh left the chat but you know we'll uh we'll get him in when he gets a chance oh no he's here semi usual (laughs) semi usual (laughs) well you've missed about three weeks in a row Listen, man, I'm here as often as I can. I appreciate this podcast and what everyone's doing here. We're really doing some good stuff. I'm excited to talk about the NFL this week, baby. And we appreciate you, sir. Yes, so, sir. Let's uh, let's get right after it tonight. Week, are we at week nine? Was it week nine? Already. Already. Wow. We're halfway through the season officially. Officially Very. halfway through the season and it's it feels like it went by quick it's uh it's been a good season though it's uh we're halfway through it's been a november, weird season. Well, it's november dude weird season very weird season another weird week um per usual yep. and it started off on a thursday night as as weeks do started off thursday night and uh what was the score from thursday night's game 29 17 eagles Counts on the Texans, make them nine and zero. It's um, you love to see it. The Eagles, nine and zero. Wait, they're nine and zero or eight and zero? Because I thought they, I thought they had a buy buy yet. No, I thought they did. Either way, they're undefeated. Yep. Moral of the story: Jalen Hurts and the Eagles are getting it done, and like. It's crazy. Yeah. Beating, beating the Texans, not that big of an accomplishment. They have the worst record in the NFL right now. But either way, keep it rolling. Fly, Eagles, fly Thursday night. Um, well, it was a two-possession game. I mean, I think that Brandon Cooks was in because he was out that game. Yep. Um, it would have been closer, but Eagles are definitely trolling everybody in the league. Yeah, no, 100%. It's like they're, their conference, my conference, you know, Giants, you know, Cowboys, um, Eagles, dude, like best conference right now in the league when it comes to games. Like yeah. when it comes to records, yeah. Like it's in it's incredible. Like Giants six and two, Cowboys six and two, Eagles eight, nine, whatever it is, undefeated. Yeah, undefeated. Yeah. Um yeah, it's like it's crazy. It's 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 exciting for me. I mean Considering like the last five years, this has been the saddest, you know, division in in the NFL. Like, no comeback, <laughs> dude. I'm, well, you're making I'm, a comeback. I'm hyped. You know, someone was telling me uh, the other day. You know, oh well, the the Giants won't make it that far in the playoffs. Listen, whether or not they make it that far right. in the playoffs doesn't matter to me because, like, what I'm seeing right now is the the Giants going out there and a good team putting on a good performance their best. against good teams. Like it's, it's exciting for me in that alone. Will we win the Super Bowl this year? Maybe by a miracle. Will we go far in the playoffs? Maybe, but that doesn't really matter to me. I'm just happy to see, first of all, a team that's playing their heart out. A team a that te- you love with a good record. Right. And a coach that mm. loves this team and loves what he's doing. Like That's it's right. super, super exciting for me to watch because this is the first coach we've had in years that's actually been able to we fire. Cared about fire, the, but, yeah, cared about the players. Cared about the, cared about winning. Right. Yeah. You know he's he's fired up. Win or loss, he's fired up. So, yeah. So that's my rant on the AFC North. Um, but yeah. 
Then we had uh, your team on Sunday. The Patriots. Patriots stomping on the Colts. Yep. Mac is back again. 26 to 3. Kept him to a field goal. That's, yes, sir. That's uh, that's exciting to see. Um, you know, Chris, weigh in a little bit about this this young uh, Patriots team, this this team that is in a quote, you know, rebuilding hmm. season. End quote. Yeah, we still got to stick to the run game. Pound the ball, pound the rock, get in the red zone, pound it some more. Focus on the short passing plays. Don't even focus on going deep. We don't, we don't have those kind of receivers. Mm-hmm. So um, that's my strategy. Ramondre Stevenson, a very young running back that is just taking the league by storm. Yeah, literally. And not yep. Southern Vermont storm by an actual <laughs> storm. <laughs> not, not Southern Vermont No, storm. but he's he's talented. And isn't Damian Harris, isn't he out? Damian Harris has been out for um, a couple weeks now. He's been MIA. Tough break. Tough break. Well, Ramadri, Ramadri's back is hurting because he's carrying the load. So, oof, oof. <laughs> so yep, Giants beat the Colts again, 26-3. to three. And then Patriots. Zach. Patriots oh, did Colts. I say Lions? He's I meant Giants. The Giants. Okay. <laughs> I'm, all, I'm all a mess. Patriots. Beat the Colts twenty six to three, and then Zach, your team coming away with a win on Sunday football, fifteen to nine against Aaron Rodgers in the Packers. I mean, what are we what are we feeling about that, Zach? The biggest winner of the week, right there, the Detroit Lions, baby. We love to see it. Their defense. <laughs> Held Aaron Rodgers and the Packers to only nine points the entire game. And you know who it was? It was the workhorse. The workhorse. Aiden Big Aiden Hutchinson. Hutchinson. Go blue. And Rodriguez. Yeah, Malcolm Rodriguez, too. We're just, Zach and I are partial to uh, Aiden Hutchinson because he love is. love him, huh? Because, well, he's from Michigan, dude. Like, right. that guy yeah. got us so many wins last season. The guy was an, the workhorse. He was the workhorse. Like, just, he was great. The Ohio State game. Yeah, it was all over the place. It was beautiful. But. Oh my goodness he 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 took Ohio State to the cleaners, and he honestly, sure I think Michigan is going to do that again this year. Their running back is Blake Corum. Dirty. Blake Corum. His Blake running Corum, back. Yes, yeah. Mark my words. Heinzman winner. Oh yeah. Mark my words. One hundred percent. Mark my words. Christopher, what do you feel about him? We're still talking about Aiden Hudson, right? No, we're talking about Blake Corum. Oh! <laughs> Blake, 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 Blake Corum enters the, enters the chat. Wind it up. Wind it up. Wind it up for Heisman. That's yep. what I said. Hey. Undisputed Yo, winner. Let's go. He Yo, is wide dirty. He was CJ Stroud has a bad week at Ohio State this week at Northwestern. Yeah. Uh, what's his name? For Tennessee, their quarterback. Hooker. And then Hooker was the front runner. Had a bad week at Georgia. So it's wide open right now for the Heisman Trophy in college football. Just a little side note there. You know, it's anyone's game right now. It could no, be Blake Corum. It's, it's one man's game, game, and that's Blake Corum. If he, right. if he keeps up how he has been all season, it's he's not a discussion. Not, not a discussion. And does no. not get injured. Yeah. Well, well yeah. No, nah, he, he ain't going to get injured. No, the guy's, the guy's a dog. No. Yeah. But, this is the last season, yeah. healthy, healthy stud. The last two games of the season for Michigan against the Illinois Fighting Illini, then that big game against Ohio State. If he can have a big game in those two games, really impress the Heisman voters. Yeah. That's where he's going to win it, baby. That's where he's going to win it. Surprised about Tennessee though. They but the Detroit been... Lions, my guy. Yeah, yeah we're yeah, back. We're at the NFL, that... so we sorry, are we sorry. are all surprised. I'll save it no, for... go ahead. Go ahead. No, we no, are all ahead. surprised about Tennessee though. Like I am because they haven't been a top five team since what Peyton Manning, right? My like, coworker and I were talking about this literally today. Yeah, that's crazy. That's crazy. But yeah, I'm well, glad, I'm glad you guys were starting to push off into the NFL because I was getting ready to talk about Chase Brown. He he brought up fighting a lion eye, and 
Illinois. I, I, I'm ready to go go off about Chase Brown too. They're gonna be a tough team. Yeah. Hi, Chris. Right, we'll we'll, we'll save West. that for off season. Yeah. College. What announcement? I'm gonna I, I'm gonna do this on the show. Um. To our loyal fans of the show, I will be stepping down after the season as my role of uh, a, a co-host. Um, and be excited because after this season is done, it's being uh, turned over to uh, Austin and Chris, who both know much more about football than me. I will be a reoccurring guest right. because you're probably going to be recording your part Absolutely. in my studio at least. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep. yeah. And... Uh, <laughs> We're gonna we're gonna give them the show, and they're gonna record about all things football, college football, college, NFL, the draft. even the draft. And so, stay yeah, we're gonna tuned cover, for that. We're gonna cover everything Absolutely. because this show doesn't end with the Super Bowl. No, it doesn't. Definitely not. So we're we're really excited for that. Oh yeah. Um, but I fu- I figured I'd give the announcement because we've been talking about it pretty much since the the first episode Chris since, was on since you met him yeah so so <laughs> since the first episode Chris was on we were like this is our guy this is our guy so uh, Austin and Chris are gonna be taking it over full time uh, and I'll be a guest of course but um, yeah it's gonna be exciting so watch enough- out for the Blood Brothers we're coming yeah <laughs> one amazing brothers. announcement is that the show that name is that the show, show name it show be. name we is pending we, we haven't decided on that show oh, okay. name is pending okay. show name is pending that sounds, that sounds good though. It's right. We're off to a good start. Good for idea. Sure. For sure. Yeah. But anyway, back to the NFL show that we are right now. Yep. Um, go ahead, Zach. What a beautiful moment. Yeah, it was, <laughs> it was, it was, you know, I just feel like, you know, it, it needed to be said. So, um, oh, and, and let's give a, let's give a, while we're on a beautiful moment, I'm going to, I'm going to say this to you too. I know that Austin, I give you a hard time every episode. I, I I rip into you about something. Last week it was Taylor Heineke. The week before it was probably Tom Brady. The week, be- the week before that, whatever. But I want you to know that okay. I could not have dreamed or wished for a better co-host than you. you. So I just want to let you know, and the people that are watching that don't really understand our dynamic that well, because I feel like <laughs> probably a lot of people watch this and are like, wow, He's a real jerk. Yeah. <laughs> but that's just how we are. Yeah. We're, we've known each other a long time. We're good friends. That's how we are. But I do appreciate you. I want them to know that I appreciate of you. And I want I want you to know specifically how impressed I am with you from episode one up to now. The like, hell with Mitchell. Yeah. The first guy that was supposed to be on this, it was a mistake me ever asking him. He fell through. I said, I got the guy. Austin was like, "Yes, I'm down," and it's been a it's it's been a nine week journey. Oh yeah, and it's been a blast. So, um, yeah. So enough of the lovey dovey. Uh, you're a brother for life. It's my guy right that here. My guy right here. Show. What? That episode is a reality show now. Yeah, this is just <laughs> this is just beautiful, beautiful moments. I like this okay. week. Yeah. <laughs> Chargers and the Falcons. The they Chargers won a game, won a game yeah. against the Falcons, <laughs> who aren't. Uh, they're they're not bad this year. They're not terrible. Yeah, they're not they're not dog water. Um, but the Chargers beat the Falcons twenty to seventeen. Now the, a big upset. This game gives me anxiety. The Jets beat the Bills twenty to seventeen. I don't Who know saw where to this begin. Coming? Nobody saw this coming. I didn't see it coming. You didn't see it coming. Who saw it coming? I think we all picked the Bills last year. Yeah, last we week. all did. We said it's no competition. And guess what? It was a competition. Oh, Zach, I, I want to point you... this out before we move forward. I did say the Lions were going to beat the Packers. I did. You play. actually <laughs> did. I think I did too, though. Did I you? Did. Yes, I think you we, did. I, I think, think we did. did too. And I, I, I said Packers. Yeah, you said yeah, you guys said are Packers. crazy. <laughs> yeah. Or no, maybe I did say the Packers because I'm an Aaron Rodgers yeah. fan. Uh, I think Chris was the Chris was the only guy. Yeah. I had to. <laughs> he had to. And he was right. Okay. But, Zach, tell us a little bit, because you're a big Josh Allen fan. Uh, what did you think of the, the, the Jets beating the Bills? And I thought it was tragic, except for that one kid on Instagram who was getting ice cream. Okay, that's the only one it's, Johnny, it's good for. Johnny's getting ice cream. It's <laughs> always good to see Johnny get ice cream. 
I really like the Bills, man. I really like Josh Allen and the Bills. Ever since last year in the playoffs when they lost to the Chiefs in that heartbreaker in overtime, I said these are think of the Chiefs. Yeah, so those are my guys. They're gonna win the Super Bowl next year. Wait for it. They're still in the hunt. The Eagles are oh, a great yeah. team, but I think the Bills are gonna have what it takes to really win in the playoffs this year. And they're my they're my early Super Bowl prediction, guys. Well, I think that would be really cool. Um to see the Bills who have Bills really an Eagles Super Bowl? <laughs> I can't, I think they're both in the AFC though. No. Are you sure? The and the Eagles are in the NFC. Well, yeah, because the Giants are in the NFC. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. That makes sense. So, okay. Bills, um, Eagles? I, I need to bring this up real quick, too. So, I feel like Zach is on the same level of his love for Josh Allen as I am with uh, Mr. Aaron Rodgers. Some would say a little too in love with Aaron Rodgers. <laughs> Show the camera. I'm showing the camera right now. Although, Adam, your hair starting to look like uh, red Patrick Mahomes. No, 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 no,
year they went into the playoffs and whatnot. But for the most part, just kind of unassuming quarterbacks. That wasn't – I don't think that was Kirk Cousins. I think that was Case Keenum at the time. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a quick Google search. I'm pretty sure that was Kirk Cousins. I swear it was Case but, Keenum. <clears throat> it could have been, but wait, are we um, talking? The Minnesota Vikings have boosted up to number four in power rankings, up five spots. Yeah, it was Kirk Cousins that took him to the playoffs. Really? Yeah. I guess the Saints. Yeah. Yes. Um, yeah. huh. but, but aside from that, they're just kind of unassuming quarterbacks mm. and now they're actually pretty decent. Um, Geno Smith, like oh, another no. Daniel Jones, Ooh. like, it's just like, they're very unassuming quarterbacks, but this season they're, they're playing well. Jalen hurts. They're, Jalen hurts. It's yeah. I mean, Tom Brady, no, he's a very assuming quarterback and he's <laughs> yeah, on the opposite this year, but we'll talk about their game in a bit. Cause it was a good game, but yeah. Zach, I think you wanted to say something. Um, I did not actually, but uh, thank you for the floor, Adam. <laughs> what would you like to do with the floor? Yeah, I'd just like to ask my boy Chris a question here. Ask him. Who is your favorite right now to win the Super Bowl? Right now, my favorite, obviously, is the Eagles to win the Super Bowl. Uh, that's kind of a, a hands-down um choice you know just given the fact that they have, they have so they have so many weapons and i've told everybody this as long as the eagles can maintain the run game they're going to win the super bowl yeah if they, but, if they can pound the rock you know like they have been they're gonna win they're the hot team right now for sure for sure but We're kind of looking at them like the Tennessee Volunteers, right? Where they were the hot team or the hot hand, but someone's going to take them down, bro. Someone's going to take them down like a veteran team, like the Bills or somebody like that. So Somebody's they do. Down. So the only the couple possibilities of them, um, teams that could bring them down is one one possibility is the Cowboys. Mm. That's what I was um, thinking. Yeah, I. I had the because, same kind of thought. Or even possibly they, the Giants. Or the Packers. Although, yeah, yes, and that, that was my other possibility is the Giants. So, 10-16, uh, uh, the Eagles beat, beat Dallas 26-17. That was the score last time they played, but that was under Cooper Rush as well, I believe. Interesting. That wasn't with, that, that wasn't with Dak Prescott. Very interesting. Yes. Yeah, and, and Cowboys have Tony Pollard instead of oh, yeah. so yeah, and Tony Pollard has now pretty much full control of the run game. I'm yeah. just gonna say that you know, kid's cause... good. The kid is so good. Yeah. But yep. yeah, so Vikings uh, beat the Commanders twenty to seventeen, and then we get into the, the only blowout, really, forty two to twenty one, Bengals and Panthers. My boy Joe Burrow got her done, as he always does. Big blowout, forty-two oh, yeah. to twenty-one. Was uh, was um, Jamar Chase? No, was Baker playing quarterback? No, PJ Walker. PJ Walker, man. PJ Walker. I like them. Baker like, came in. Yeah, I like PJ Walker actually. Uh, I like him a lot, but they lost to a better quarterback. My guy, Joe Burrow. Honestly, I think Joe Burrow is replacing Aaron Rodgers for me. Moving forward, you know, I'm going to make another statement. Ladies and gentlemen, on this night of November 8th, 2022, that's the night we're recording this podcast, I have made the ultimate decision. I no longer am a fanboy of Aaron Rodgers. Good thing. He has done nothing. I'm I'm in the middle of a uh, I'm in the middle of a monologue here. Do you mind? All right. <laughs> right in the middle of my luck. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, on November 8th. No, I'm not going to do it again. <laughs> but I'm no longer an Aaron Rodgers fan. Why? Because that man has done nothing. Absolutely nothing. Nothing. But let me down all season long. He had made me cry. 
He has made me sob. He has made me have anxiety. For what? For what? To lose to the Lions? For what? Nine I'm points. over it. Therefore, <laughs> starting today, on November 8th, 2022, I pledge my allegiance to Joe Burrow. <laughs> I want to top that. Top it. Top I'm going to top it with the, the topic shouldn't even be Joe Burrow. The topic should have been Joe Mixon. 22 attempts, 153 yards, and four touchdowns. The Oregon Ducks quarterback? But he couldn't do it under the leadership of his mighty QB, Joe! <laughs> yeah. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You said the Oregon Ducks running back? Quarterback. Justin oh, Herbert? he's thinking of Dennis Dixon. I said he's thinking of Dennis Dixon. <laughs> thinking of Dennis Joe Dixon. Mixon. The old Statue of Liberty, Dennis Dixon. Here we go. Don't get me started. Shut me down right now. Shut him down. Shut him down. Yeah, That's enough. Down. Ear done. Ear <laughs> done. <laughs> All right. So Bengals beat the that Panthers 42 to 21. Then we had the Jaguars at the Raiders. Two Christian men. Aaron Rodgers is no. like. Dante Adams ain't picking up. <laughs> Baby. And why is that? Why ain't Devontae picking up? Where you at? Losing streak. Oof. Yes. <laughs> anyway, what I was saying was two men of faith. We had uh, Derek Carr and Trevor Lawrence. The battle of believers. The battle for the... Who's the better Christian? Oh my gosh, that's terrible. Um, <laughs> that's terrible, yeah. Tri Trevor Lawrence <laughs> showed Derek Carr that he was. Uh, by a one-touchdown game, Jaguars beat the uh, Raiders 27-20. to Then we had the Dolphins beating the Bears. And let me just say, Not although they much. lost, Justin Fields yes. setting a record. What was it? What was the... What was the actual numbers, Chris? Uh, it was 178, uh, 178 yards. Running yards. Running yards. Rushing yards. Yes, Justin Fields rushed for 178 rushing yards. It's, it's incredible. Congrats to him. But they did end up losing to the Dolphins. Who did uh, he pass, Vic? He passed Michael Vick. Michael Vick. Yeah. Yep. <clears throat> um, but the Dolphins beat them. 35 to 32, but a historic day for Justin Fields. And I think this is, this isn't even an overreaction, but I think Justin Fields has proved that he's going to be the guy for the bears for the next years to come. That was against, yeah. that was against Miami's defense. And he only attempted to rush 15 times, 15 times for, for 178 yards. That's incredible. I mean, he had, what he was the long, he outran Lil Herbert what was the and Montgomery combined? What was the yardage for the touchdown that he, he ran? It was a lot. He uh, his long his long was sixty one yards. That's crazy. That is crazy. <laughs> Zach, are you gonna say something? I am. Yeah, you guys see Mike McDaniel's, the Dolphins head coach. Where he oh asked, my gosh! Uh, what a where nerd! What did, what did he do? He goes. <laughs> he asked Justin Fields to stop scrambling. Yep. Because yeah. I didn't like it. <laughs> so he was like, was telling, I was but telling he, Austin the this the other day. <clears throat> I'm like. Justin Fields is now just getting into who he really is as an NFL quarterback. He's yeah. going to drop back. He sees an open gap. He's going to run. It, do, it don't matter if, if, if people are open or not. If someone's open, he's still going to keep it and run. If that hole is open like that, he's just got to take it. Yeah, and, and that's what I was like I was saying. It's not an overreaction to say that he's going to be the answer for their quarterback for the next I'm few gonna, years. I'm going to say this, yeah. and I've said it before. Um, he is the best quarterback coming out of Ohio State so far. Yeah, that's Ever. for sure. Ever. Ever. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's yep. a more than true statement. Mm. More than true. Yeah. Seahawks, man. Geno Smith, 31 to 21. What a dog. What a man. Geno, big Geno. 
They beat Battle of the Birds, and mm. uh, they got it done, dude. 31 to 21. So that was It good. makes no I, sense how, how they're ninth in power rankings behind the Jets, Ravens, Dolphins, and Dallas. Get me started. Dude, no, because I said. Don't, don't, don't. I don't want to get into the power rankings. I don't. I don't. It makes no me sense. so mad every single time. Yeah, I, I get know. so hot about the stupid power rankings. How about you leave it to people that actually watch football instead of you bums in Sports Center wearing your suits and ties, sitting at a desk and, and looking at a blank wall. You better watch out, Sports Center. Penford Sports is coming for you. Yeah, because we watch the sports. We watch <laughs> the sports. We're fans of the sports. We don't need money to put on a football show. All we needed was two great guys, three great guys, four, four great guys, guys, four great guys to come on every Tuesday night and to tell you what you really want to hear. And apparently what you really want to hear is about me and Giselle's DM exchanges. Apparently what you want to hear about is fit checks from the NFL. We have a twist on things, okay? We're different than every single football show you've ever seen. And so get out of here. Done, and that rant was out of the power rankings. I hate the power See rankings. See you later. See you later. <clears throat> anyway. Who makes the power rankings? Go ahead. Who makes the power rankings? Some ESPN. dumb idiots at ESPN. ESPN. Yeah. Really? Really? Crazy. Uh, so right. the way they do it, the way they do it, right, is whoever scores the most points that oh, week. Bull. Bull. How, how gets, many times do we have to learn? And gets the win. And gets the win. Gets the bump in the power rankings. But, but explain to me. Why does it matter points? Because, like, think about it like this way. If you it's had a, power rank But if you had a show up of Patrick Mahomes and Josh Allen and each team only scored seven, <clears throat> like, like okay, hold it was on. like a seven to, th- to six game, is that – make them lower in the power rankings no it's whoever won it doesn't matter they got a job they got the job done they did it they won that's the only metric that matters okay so i'm looking at the week nine power Dude, rankings. explain to me this and i love how, Joe how was the giants a six and two team behind the Bengals, the 49ers i'm walking off the show they're they're four and four <laughs> i'm done the the power rankings are determined by dividing the sum of all the win points, tie points, and schedule points. It should be by record the number, by the number of games that are played. It should be record. It should be record. You're right. It should be record, and by how many points you scored against your opponent that week. And I'm I'm saying this because I'm a Tom Brady fan, but the Commanders are four and four. How are they below the Bucks that are three and five? It just makes no sense to me, dude. Well, listen, even the guys, Jets, I mean, they're five and three, four and two, four and four teams are in front of them. Listen, in college, I've cooled football, off a bit. So in college football, we have teams like like the LSU Tigers that were ranked very high last week. It had a six and two team. They were ahead of it. Lots of eight and one teams. So, I mean, it's all about who you've played, right? Yep. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, uh, exactly what I was trying to say. It all, yeah. yeah. So, like, the, the Jets, the Jets beat the, the Bills. So, the Jets moved up 13 rankings that week yeah. for, being, for being the Bills. I can't talk about this anymore. We got to change subjects. All so right. Let's, uh, let's talk about the man. Game of the, the week, myth, honestly, I think. The legend, Tom Brady. Come back with 44 seconds left and then just won the game. Let's talk about that. It looked like typical Tom, and I love to see it. Um, Maybe he keeps it up. Maybe. Um, I hope so, but that was exciting to see. Like, this was was like in true Tom Brady fashion. Like he said, 45 seconds on the the clock, scores a touchdown to win the game. Um, it doesn't get better than that. It just doesn't. So yeah, I think I mean, he's over Giselle. That was that was the game to watch this week. Mm. And yeah, he he should be over Giselle because, as I said earlier, Giselle and I are in a happy relationship. Like <laughs> the last thing I need is her crazy ex being annoying. You know. Right. But I think I think that game really hit home for Tom Brady coming back. 
and playing mm-hmm. the Rams again in a, in, a, in a revenge game and also going over 100,000 yards passing. So I thought yes. that was great. I forgot yeah. to – Tom Brady breaks the record with 100,000 passing yards in the – was it regular season and playoffs? Everything. That's insane. That's insane. It just shows you the level of ability and talent that football players coming out of the University of Michigan have. That's right. So Yeah, I agree. You love to see it. Zach, are you still on? Do you want to attest to that? he, he He may have left us. Zach is not on, but I will attest to that. Yeah, go ahead. The The University of Michigan has the most productive athletes coming out of there and in, going into the NFL that produce higher than any other college in, in, in college football that go into the NFL. Yeah, I mean, Aiden Hutchinson, most productive. year one. You know, we got Donovan Peoples-Jones. Like, Rashad Perry, Rashad Donovan Perry. Peoples-Jones. Yeah, it's – <sighs> Jabril Peppers. Yeah, I was just about to say Jabril. Peppers. We're out here. We're out here winning. Where did Matthew Judon go? uh, Matthew Judon? I thought he went to Michigan. Did he? No, no. Matthew Judon. He went to uh, Grand Valley State University. He's off. What the? That's that's up in. uh, I'm pretty sure that's in Michigan, though. Uh, yeah, he's from Michigan. Michigan. Ah, yeah, that's in Michigan. It's in the state of Michigan. Right. Yeah. So yeah. So uh, Buccaneers beat the Rams in in that forty five second drive, sixteen to thirteen. That's that goat talk, kid. A game that irritated me was the Chiefs and Titans. Fourth quarter, they give them three attempts for the for the two count two down. for the two point conversion, didn't Mal- didn't Malik Willis start this game? Yeah, he did. He and did he terrible, played great. Terrible game. And don't get me started with Malik Willis. Keep going. Next sub. Next subject. Oh wow. He's <laughs> no wait. Actually, I, me I, and Adam I, came to an agreement. We want to hear it. Yeah, we want to hear it. That, so when the draft came around, and all these. ESPN announcers and comic people got together. They're like, oh, Malik Willis, yes. The strong arm of Malik Willis. I'm going to tell you right now, I still believe that Sam Howell should have went before him. Sam Howell may be the third string backup quarterback for the commander. Second string. Third string. Well, second string now, sorry. But he could easily be the starter. And who who looked the best at the draft? The, Sam the, Howell. His, 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 Sam Howell's draft combine was, was unreal. Insane. Yep. He looked better than any quarterback out there. So he, he I did. think he should have gone way before Malik Willis. Uh, Kenny Pickett. Yep. And... You put Sam Howell on Pittsburgh's roster. Hmm. Pittsburgh doesn't have the record they have now. I still say, they, even, I still say they go above 50-50. Even the Titans roster. Even the, put Howell the on the Falcons. Yeah. You put him on you put him on Atlanta Falcons. I bet you they'd be undefeated. He probably does better than Mariota, yeah. Mm-hmm. And, I'm, and, that's, and I'm and I'm saying that because I'm a huge Mariota fan, but he's been going downhill, downhill. downhill. It's going down. But yeah. <laughs> I'm right. yelling Timber. I'm free. <laughs> Cause I'm free, free falling. That's a that's a good way to Sammy you know. actually loves that movie, uh Jerry, Jerry Maguire, he loves that movie. Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> Show me the money! Show me the money! <laughs> Show me the money! Cuba Gooding Jr., Tom yeah. Cruise, yeah. Great film. Yeah. 
Zach, you're a film guy. You like uh, Jerry Maguire? Uh, I've never seen Jerry Maguire. How? How? Of- how can you be someone interested in making films when you haven't seen some of the greatest films? So, Adam, we were talking about this before, right? Um, oh, multiple times. There's a lot of movies that I have not seen that are masterpieces, right? And I have said to you, we're losing you. Going to be we're every losing single, you. Oh, start again. My be, my be, my be. Um, so if you're going to be someone that makes movies, you can't watch every single movie because you don't have but you, time. But to. you need to watch the best ones, like Jerry Maguire. I, and we did a good, we did a quick search and it. We looked on Sam's Facebook. Uh, Sam's Facebook's profile picture is actually yeah, I'll get him to Tom zoom. Cruise saying, "Show me the money." Show me the money. <laughs> Beautiful. All right, this game the, we got we got to move through these games real quick. So oh, yeah. the Chiefs and Titans game really uh, we were talking about that really upset me just because of the three attempts they had for the two point conversion mm. on. Bull crap calls. The one call where Travis Kelsey was holding a guy's face mask and somehow the call was called against uh, was called against the guy he was holding his face mask. Like his hands were around the mask, but there was a flag on the other guy. I don't I don't get that. Hey Makes, refs, let yeah. me tell you one thing. Do you want Halloween these? is over? Okay. Put your stuff back and get some glasses. And call good games. Yes. Call good games, dude. Nobody nobody wants to see you just giving it to Patrick Mahomes so you can hear a story about how they won with two minutes left. Oh, I do want to add, though, uh, Travis Kelsey. What was it, Christopher? Um, was terrible. No, he... He's a maggot. He's, he's a maggot. He's tied with Gronkowski, I think, for... Um, what was it? Was it Christopher? Are you there? Sorry, I'm just tuning in now. Um, Travis, I do want to add that Travis Gil- Kelsey um, tied with Gronk uh, with what, what was it? What was he? What did he tied with? Uh, I believe it's receptions. Receptions with 32 touchdown receptions. Yeah. Wow. Passing Tony Gonzalez. That's crazy. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's not, not Gronkowski. No, he. I thought he broke Gonzalez. Yes. He's tied with Gronk. Yes. You're right. Interesting. So, um, we had we then had uh the Chiefs beat the Titans twenty to seventeen, um, and then we had the Ravens. Beating the Saints twenty-seven to thirteen. I think that's what we all said, really. Yeah. Uh, Let me clear that up for what Austin was ta- saying about about Kelsey. Is he tied the most a hundred yard receiving games by a tight end? Yeah. Wow. Wow. Yep. Then we had the Ravens beating the the Saints, like we said, twenty-seven to thirteen. <laughs> you put this... a lot of enthusiasm into that one. Yeah. <laughs> this uh this episode has we've gone over so much but we need to we need to give our predictions for uh week 10 big week as we falcons as we turn into the second half of the season we got falcons at panthers i got the falcons yep chris i'm going falcons and zach zach he said i think he said panthers you didn't say anything. <laughs> we're, we're going Falcons. Okay. Now, we're going to go in that order, so stay in the line. We're going to do this quick. So I'm going to go Austin, Chris, then Zach. We have the uh, Buccaneers and the Seahawks. Give me the Seahawks. Give me the Bucks. Seahawks. You know I want the Buccaneers, man. It's Tom Brady's time to turn it on. All right. All right. Uh, Lions and Bears. Give me Justin Fields and the Bears. Yes, sir. Bears. I'll take the Bears. Take the Bears. Zach? Lions. Yeah. You got to go with Detroit. <laughs> Wait a minute. No, I'm changing my. I'm changing that. 
Oh, he's got a Lions listen, kick. Listen, listen, I'm going to tell you why. Josh Reynolds is coming back off of injury. And uh, Swift is going to get more playing time. I'm going I'm going Lions. Oh, wow. There you go. It's a, it's a split down the middle yeah. for that one. Browns and Dolphins. Dolphins. Give me the Dolphins. Yep. Fins. Mike McDaniels and the Dolphins, baby. Yes, Let's go. yes sir. Uh, Marty Marty McDaniel reminds me of Andy Zach. <laughs> Same dude. Very similar. <laughs> Very. If Andy that. ever coaches an NFL team, he is Marty McDaniel. Yeah. All right, then we have the Broncos. The Broncos at the Titans. Uh, I love I love Russell Wilson's little prayer circle, even though I think he's hot garbage. Um, give me give me the Titans. Yeah, tighten up. Titans. I have one question. Is Derrick Henry playing? Yes. Give me them Titans. Nice, nice. Bills and Vikings. This would be a I big think, game. I think the Vikings are over. Um, give me the Bills. Yeah, Bills. Christopher. Vikings. Say that again. Vikings. All right. Interesting. Zach. Zach, your audio is terrible. Cutting out, brother. That's what that's all we're hearing. I hear a beat. Zachary. Alright. He said he has one question. I want to know what the Bills question is. Wait, ask the question again. You cut Bills out. Bills run the table. You asked a question. Bills run the table. No, he asked about Derek. He said, I, he said I have no. He asked about the the Vikings question. He said I have one question. All right, the Bills. <laughs> All right. What was the question though? I asked about Derrick Henry if he was playing. Yeah, that's what No, I thought you asked about No, that, that was Bills. last game. The Titans and Bills. All right, no. Whatever, whatever. I said the All Bills right. run the table, baby. Uh, yeah, they do. All right, Giants and Texans, give me the Giants. The Bills will run the table. The Texans, Giants. bro? They have the Giants. Oh, I was going to say. I was making you scared. <laughs> <laughs> Give them Giants. Christopher. Giants. I said Giants, too. Oh. All right. All right. Perfect. Chiefs and Jaguars. Give, Give me the Jags. Yeah, Give me the Jags. Give me the Jags. Come on, guys. I'm going Chiefs on this one. Uh, I got to. What? <laughs> Come on, guys. The disappointment in his voice. Haters or not? The, you diff- go. the disappointment in There's your voice. There's got to be one upset. There's got to be one upset. That's like, that's like this is a game. Derek Jeter is playing with the Yankees. All right, all right, all right. Zach. Give me the Jags. Ah! Wow, guys. Saints and Steelers. Give me the you Steelers. Steelers. Steelers, yeah. I'll give me the Steelers. Steelers. I'm going Saints. Ooh. Ooh. I got to go Saints with Drew Brees, baby. Oh, I got Drew, Drew Brees. <laughs> Drew Brees doesn't even play for the Saints anymore. He's retired. I'm just going with Saints because Tell of me, Drew Brees. No, no. Tell me you knew that. <laughs> I need confirmation that you knew he didn't play anymore. Listen, I'm the one that retired Drew Brees. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. Colts and Raiders, go Raiders. Yeah, go Raiders. Raiders on this one as well. Jack, say it. Say it. It doesn't matter who they're playing. Go Raiders. Go Raiders. All right, then we had the uh the we have the Rams and the Cardinals. Cardinals. Give me the Cardinals. Yep. Rams are yeah, not Cardinals. playing like a yeah. Super Bowl contender. Yep. I like the Cardinals in this one. The Rams are really struggling this year. Mm-hmm. Is that the first one we all agree on? No, or we, no we agree on the Giants Raiders. And the Giants. And the Raiders. All right. P- Packers and Cowboys. Cowboys. Cowboys, yeah. 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 How about them boys? America's team. We do. That's right. It is. It is. No, it is not. America's team. Dude, I'm name, sick of name it. Another I'm team. Cutting you in and out. You can't even rant because you're you're getting caught out of the bike. Go ahead, tell us tell us why you're sick of it. I just hate like it's America's team, dude. And 
I, I hate in the 80s Cowboys. and 90s. Yes. No, here's why it is. Go to any state. You can find a Cowboys fan. Any I don't state. think that's why. No, it is America's one team. million percent true. No. Like, okay. Anyway. Ta- no, I'm going to double down. Any country every, you can find every, Cowboys Every fan. town, bro. Every town you can find one Cowboys fan. Every Jerry town. Jerry Jones ships merchandise overseas, bud. Hey, right. <laughs> but, like, if you go to any town, you're not going to find a, a Packers fan. All right. Give me Tony Pollard and the Cowboys. All right. Chris, you said Cowboys. Zach, what's your answer? Over all the chatter, this is the week that Aaron Rodgers gets that offense going in the right direction. Give me that Green Bay Cowboys. No, 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 no. Let's go. Let's go. I'm no longer renouncing my Aaron Rodgers. I'm just kidding. It's been renounced. This is the week that Aaron Rodgers literally calls back Devontae Adams. This is the week. Because they're going to lose. So. Could you imagine Devontae back in Green Bay takes them to the playoffs? They win the World Series. That's the World story. Series. Not the World Series. <laughs> I've been in baseball mode. Oh, and Houston won the World Series, so I'm pissed about that. But I've been in baseball mode. All right. 49ers and Chargers. Give me them Niners. Yeah. Go Niners. <laughs> Heavy on the goal rush. Let's go. And Zach. Give me the Green Bay Cowboys. Oh, my gosh. No, you did not just say that. You did not just say that. Not the Green Bay Cowboys. Oh, my gosh. You're an animal, Zach. You're an animal. Do you want to win that game, though, Zach? What 49ers and Chargers. 49ers and Chargers. Battle of the Californias. I'm going to go with the 49ers. All right. And then the last game of the week, Commanders and Eagles. This is an easy dub for the Eagles. I'm taking my daddy, Taylor Heineke. They're going to upset the undefeated Eagles. You watch. You watch. Well done, sir. Well done. Chris. This is the game. Jalen Hurts those for like 400 yards, bud. Yeah. <laughs> and and uh and Tyler Heineke throws for 500 yards. <laughs> it's Taylor Heineke yeah, yeah, throws for more like say. more like a buck a buck 20. Yeah. And Zach, what's your uh what's your prediction? The Philadelphia Eagles not quite ready to lose yet. They advance another round. All right. All right. So uh, do you guys have anything else you guys want to talk about before we uh, wrap up the show? We've been going for almost an hour. I just think it was really funny when I said the Green Bay Cowboys. That, it was a good comment. No, it was piece. actually funnier when you said Drew Brees. Yeah, that was pretty funny. Too. <laughs> I just want to say that I think this week has been the most comedic, energetic yeah, this is... week for, for this podcast since it started. So and we're, only, we're, we're only going up. Nice job, we're only boys. halfway done. No, nice job to you, Chris. Nice job to, again, my great co-host, Austin. Uh, pleasure to have Zach on again. Zach, any closing words? Absolutely, man. It was a pleasure to be on. You guys have a good night. It was good seeing all y'all. You as well, Zach. So, everybody, we hope you've enjoyed uh, this week's episode of the Penford Sports Podcast. As always, please follow us on Instagram. Follow us on Facebook. Like our videos. Subscribe. Check us out um, on the web, Penford Media. You always uh, forget YouTube. Yeah, well, YouTube that's what we're saying right now. The, yeah, get it wherever you watch your podcast. <laughs> but if you like the video version, which I think is a lot better, mm. you can see your personality, you know, how we are. Go see on YouTube. It's Penford faces. Media. It's Penford Media, man. And you got to subscribe because we're putting this out there for you every week along with some other great creators and great shows on the platform. So it's Penford Media. Like, comment, subscribe. We love you. As always, have a fine rest of your evening. Please enjoy this next week of football as we as well will enjoy it. And have a great night, America.